finished? Well, no, we're not quite finished. Not finished. Dave, the column goes to press this afternoon. Mia, read them what we got. Do you think Mr. Coffey sleeps well at night? <laughs> That's it? That's the column? Well, it could be just blow up my picture really big and put a Marmaduke at the bottom. <laughs> Dave, I'm writing. I'm writing. OK, Dad, I'm done with my Mother's Day gift. Tommy, you've only stuck in four cloves. You've got to cover the whole orange. You've got to be kidding. I've already got a blood blister. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. But Dad said if I hang it in Mom's closet, it'll smell good. I think he just doesn't want to take me to the mall. Hey, the old cloves and the orange is a Mother's Day classic. Of course, for Father's Day, I would prefer cashmere socks. Dad! I found one to give to Mom! This is so perfect. He gets to give her a rock because he's still a kid. That's not a rock. M. O. M. Now it's a paperweight. <laughs> Can that be from both of us? My generation didn't respect our mother's wisdom. We were furious when they urged us to become lawyers and questioned our decisions to marry people we had never seen in direct sunlight. And of course, we were really annoyed at them when, years later, we got divorced and enrolled in law school. I get that. Sit and write. Come in. Hi, guys. Hey, Maggie. Hey, hey Maggie. Maggie. Make yourself comfortable. Dave, please, I haven't been comfortable since 1972. <laughs> is Beth ready for a Mother's Day lunch? But Mother's Day is tomorrow. Oh, not for me. My daughter has plans tomorrow, so we get to celebrate Mother's Day Eve. Well, come on, Maggie. Beth has her own family now. She wants to spend Mother's Day with the boys and me. You are so whipped. <laughs> Beth, your mother's here. Come on down. No fair hanging yourself. Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, uh, uh. Mother's Day Eve. <laughs> What a lovely corsage. I hope it survives till the real Mother's Day. Hi, Dave. Hi, Shell. Hi, Mia. Slime bucket. Are you two dating? Well, we were until he dumped me. Like I've always told you, Julie, why should they buy the cow? Believe me, I paid plenty for the cow. All right, come on. Come on, Bonnie, right now. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Julie, that is no way to get a man. <laughs> you get that corsage? Julie gave it oh. to me. Oh. Here, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Well, we should get going to the restaurant. We were thinking Italian. Italian? I can make that at home. Chinese? Chinese. Um, you never know. <laughs> well, you pick, Mom. It's your day. Actually, tomorrow would be my day. <laughs> Remember, Beth, if you give her the Heimlich maneuver and she's not actually choking, it is considered assault. Hey, hey, you know, Dave, that would make a good column. The Heimlich maneuver? You know what's funny about choking on a piece of meat? <laughs> uh, Dave, I was talking about writing a column about Mother's Day. No, there's definitely nothing funny about Mother's Day. Oh, and why do you say that? And speak slowly. Well, I just remember last Mother's Day. I took mom to my favorite restaurant. Just rip it open, mom. I'll buy you some more paper. I'm just not a ripper. Here you go. A scarf. Oh, Kenny, it's gorgeous. But then, of course, it would be. What do you mean, of course it would be? Kenny, I might as well tell you. I know. You know what? Oh, darling, I want us to be closer. And we cannot be until this is out in the open. Hi, I'm Steve, and I'll be your waiter. I know you're gay. <laughs> OK, I'll come back later. <laughs> gay? What are you talking about? I'm not gay. Oh, honey, please. You're a 42-year-old bachelor. And I have never met any of your girlfriends. And look at this scarf. 
A straight man would never have picked out this scar. I didn't. My secretary picked it out. And those birthday cards, she picked those out too. I never lift a finger for you. Oh, my beautiful boy. <laughs> Darling, I know what this is. I know what it's all about. You are just afraid that this will hurt you professionally. The support group told me that I would have to understand that. Support group? You told other people? <laughs> Listen, there is a woman in my group who has a son who is also in publishing. Now, I had her show him your picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> And he thought you were very cute. Oh, my God. Oh, I feel closer to you already. Mom, I am not gay. Look at this. My black book. Turn to a page. Any page. Sam. Samantha. Chris, Bobby, Jerry. Jimmy. <laughs> Mom, you've left me no choice. Andy, come here. Tell my mom what we did on the 4th of July last year. Kenny, this is sick. Well, he's okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell her. Okay. Uh, he was a very gentle and sensitive man. Oh. No, 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 no. Tell her what really happened. <laughs> All right. We spent the night in the mattress department at Sears, and he never called me again. Your son's a pig. Thank you, Andy. You can look forward to a big tip. Oh, I've heard that before. Satisfied, Mom? So you really are straight? I'm sorry. I am what I am. Because this means I won't be able to go to the support group anymore. And it's too bad, because they were going to have a potluck dinner next Wednesday. I made some great friends there, too. You make new friends. Oh, Kenny. When you get to be my age, you're more in the business of losing friends than making them. Well, I could be in denial. <laughs> In denial. I like that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Just promise you won't use my name. The guy in publishing still calls. <laughs> oh, Dave, Dave, I've got a really good story. I remember the year I tried to convince my mom that Kenny wasn't gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. Good, no, I really do have a good one. This, this happened about oh, three Mother's Days ago. There I was, Dr. Sheldon Baylor, noted plastic surgeon. <laughs> All major credit cards accepted. Mama? Mama? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> I, I'm not Bobby, it's me, Shell. Oh, Bobby, Shell, you're both my boys. Take your shoes off. <laughs> you're on that kick again, huh? What's in the bag, Shell? It's your Mother's Day present. What's in the other bag? Uh, uh, well, that's, that, that's not for you. This is your present. I want what's in the other bag. <laughs> Mama, this is not let's make a deal. Open your present. It's a sweater. It's always a sweater. I live in New Orleans. I don't need sweaters. Give me the other bag. Mama! <laughs> a voodoo doll. <laughs> what in the hell is this for? It's a steal. <laughs> I thought I'd try this instead of paying for one of those, you know, expensive divorce lawyers. What happened with the marriage counseling? They all took her side, Mama. There just aren't any good ones out there. My poor, poor Harry. Harry? Who's Harry? M Mama, I'm Shell. You're doing this again. Where are you taking me for dinner tonight? Brennan's. You always liked Brennan's. You'll be mobbed there. Everyone in town bought your last album, Harry. <laughs> Sing, Dale. Harry Belafonte. Uh, Mama, maybe you better lie down. Come on, sing, Dale. Mama, I, I, I don't want to sing, Dale. Well, sing whatever you want. Uh, no, Mama. It's Mother's Day.
This will make you happy? <laughs> Down the way where the lights are gay and the sun shines daily on the mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship And when I reached Jamaica I made a stop And I'm sad to say I'm on my way Won't be back for many a day My heart is down My head is turning around I had to leave a little girl in Kingston town How was that, Mama? That was fine, Chef. <laughs> but you know Harry Belafonte. <laughs> okay, the orange is completely covered. What now? Well, well, now you gotta roll it in cinnamon, and then you wrap it in a cheesecloth, and then you have to. Forget it, Dad. I'm leaving it on Mom's bed. If she finds it, she finds it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't sit by the window. Too drafty. <laughs> Spots on the water glass. <laughs> of course there's ham and pea soup. That's how they make pea soup, with ham. Hey, Beth, I bet you have a Mother's Day story to share with us, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, now, keep in mind this is a family newspaper. Ah, then I'm stumped. <laughs> oh, Dave, I've got one. Oh, okay, my mother and I have always been very close. Of course, as a trapeze act, we had to be. Excuse me, you were in a trapeze act in the circus? No, Shell, she was in a trapeze act in a liquor store. <laughs> okay, picture this. Mother's Day, under the big top, special matinee. <gasps> Look at those stupid poodles. Marco should not follow poodles. Poodles should follow Marco. Hey, Marco, don't fly angry. When we get to Cleveland, let's demand that we go on before the poodles. Oh, actually, Marco, I'm not going to Cleveland. I got a job. I'm leaving the big top. Does your mother know? Oh. Whew. Wouldn't want to be in your tights. I just, I, I can't tell her. It would ruin Mother's Day. But I wrote the perfect note that explains all my things. <laughs> now I gotta tell her. Hi, Mom. Oh, sorry I'm late, kids. The rubber man was getting fresh. <laughs> and now, high above in the center ring, the amazing Marco and the I'm Fidel! Okay, let's make them fall in love with us. Listen, Mia, I heard the clowns talking. Are you seeing the human cannonball again? <laughs> no, no, that's over. Well, something has been going on with you lately. Okay, Mom. Um, I'm leaving the act. What? I got a job at a newspaper. A newspaper? What do you know about newspapers? Well, I'm gonna learn. I've always wanted to run away and join an office, and this is my chance. <laughs> oh, no, you're not going anywhere. You're a circus. This is your home. Okay, okay Mom. You're right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll stay. No! <laughs> and he's all right! Once again, the amazing Marco and the flying <laughs> So what happened to the act? Well, they replaced me with a chimp. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. <laughs> So she really let you go? Well, yeah. But we still talk all the time. And, and she wanted me to know that if the secretarial thing didn't work out, that I always had a safety net. 
I mean an actual safety net. Oh, Mia, this makes me feel guilty about my own mom. I'm gonna call her and ask her to have lunch again tomorrow. Of course, you could just ease your conscience by giving me a Mother's Day story about Maggie. Oh, that's better. Okay, let's see. Um, well, here's one. It was my first Mother's Day. Tommy just been born, and you were taking me out to celebrate. I'm coming, Daddy! You know, Beth, this tile is a little loose. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's okay, Mom. Dave's pretty handy. He'll fix it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Gosh, we're really late. Okay, the bottles are right there, and the formula's in the fridge. He's still not on solid foods? Well, you were already on steak when you were little Al's age. Big pieces. Mom, his name's Tommy. I'm not naming him after Dad. That ship has sailed. <laughs> his initials are TB. His monogram is a disease. Okay, here's the number for the restaurant and theater. You know, Beth, after you were born, your dad and I did not go out for six years. In the end, I think it really hurt the marriage. <laughs> well, I doubt that little fling you had with the secretary helped either. <laughs> Beth, we agreed to never mention that. That and that purple thing on Aunt Jennifer's face. <laughs> well, Mom, maybe I shouldn't go if he's gonna be crying all night. Oh, Beth, go. If you stay home, it'll just be you and me watching TV all night. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, gosh, Ernest, get down. Get off the couch. What's that? Oh, uh, he's got an upset stomach. This'll help. What is that? Uh, just some water with a piece of coal floating in it. What, are you a witch? Give it to me. <laughs> no. This is an old Welsh remedy. It's good for the stomach. Mom, why don't you just cover him with bones and chicken heads? <laughs> Well, he doesn't have hiccups, Beth. <laughs> you have the tickets? Forget it, Dave. We're not leaving him with her. There. Mom, what'd you just do? Nothing. You just gave him the charcoal water. No, he grabbed it. <laughs> Mom, this is my baby, OK? Do you understand that? He came from my womb. Beth, please, there's a baby here. Oh. <laughs> womb, 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 womb. <laughs> Okay, now there are two babies. Here. That's right, and this one's mine. Beth, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Beth, listen. What? He's gone to sleep. Well, yeah, he has. What's your point? <laughs> Nothing. Good night. Okay, where do I buy coal? <laughs> oh, Beth, don't worry. I didn't know these things either until my mother told me. Uh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Fix your hair. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ten years? Ten years and you haven't fixed that tile? <laughs> You know, Beth, actually, your mother has a point. Ash is very good to settle an upset stomach. Fine, she knows everything. Why don't you just marry her? <laughs> great, 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 great. The column is done. Give it to me. Oh, oh, so now you're telling me when I'm done? Boy, if you'd been Charles Dickens' editor, it would have just been the best of times. <laughs> Dave, what have we said about comparing yourself to Dickens in public? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Dad? Tommy wants me to get in a big hole. <laughs> Is there anybody in it now? No. He said he'd pull me out. He's lying. I thought so. I wish you'd gotten to know Willie. He is something. So, what's been happening? Okay, I'll start. I told you Kenny and Julie were dating, but that's over. It's not what you think, though. It's not because Kenny's gay. Um, excuse me. Uh, I'm looking for a Paul Heath. No, sorry. 
I think they move them after we leave. <laughs> you know, Mom, I spent most of this afternoon talking to my friends about their Mother's Day memories. I mean, I remember we did dinners, and I stuck the cloves in the oranges. <laughs> what I really remember is the everyday stuff. I remember you bringing the TV up to my room when I was sick. I remember you'd read something that I'd written, and you'd, uh, you'd laugh real loud because you knew I was in the next room listening. <laughs> and I remember that whenever Dad said, Dave needs a haircut, you'd say, I can do that. <laughs> and you'd do it. And it would look awful. <laughs> We could afford a barber. Mom, what were you thinking? <laughs> Tommy, pull your brother out of the hole. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I miss you, Mom. Well, I give up. Uh, listen, you mind if I put these on yours? No, no. Joanne, if you see Paul anywhere, <laughs> tell him these are for him. Is your mom? Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, have you got any funny Mother's Day stories? <laughs> Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. So, Rose, what did Mia give you? A tuberous begonia. <laughs> like it's gonna do me a lot of damn good on the trapeze. <laughs> you? Perfume. Oh, I sure hope Beth enjoys the free luggage that came with this. <laughs> You, Eleanor. Well, here it is, a sweater, another one. <laughs> Ruby? A scarf. It's beautiful. Oh, what did you expect? It's from Kenny. <laughs> so what's the deal? Is he really? <laughs> he says he's not. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> 